Hey guys, so on Facebook, I've been getting these notifications and these things have been popping up from something called the Signature Spot, I believe it's a Facebook page, out of Canada, and I like how they post stuff, and I like the stuff that they're interested in, they seem to go after classical wrestling, but anyway, the other day they posted something about Kurt Hennig and Rick Rude, and I was watching it, and I remembered that I have a really awesome uh, Kurt Hennig story of when I worked with Kurt Hennig on one of the WWE programs back in the 90s, I want to say it had to be the 90s, and uh, then I was going, wait a minute, I also worked with Rick Rude the next night, so at the time, I believe Rude was going up against the Ultimate Warrior, and I think Kurt, I believe Kurt was wrestling with Hogan, so I ended up being the last uh, enhancement match for both guys before the pay-per-view, which was pretty cool. Actually, what happens when they put you in a position like that is they have a lot of faith in you, and that was a nice thing to have for being a young guy at the time. But anyway, so learning experience with Kurt Hennig, man, and he didn't even mean to teach me this, you know. He had worked with, or he had to work with Tito Santana on a Saturday night's main event. And then within three matches after that, he had to work with me in that enhancement match. This wasn't, like I told you, an important match going into a pay-per-view. He says, kid, we're not going to have time to talk about anything. Uh, I know you. I know you got a clue. Is there anything we need to talk about? And I says, no, man. I've been down in Memphis, and I was just coming back from working every night in Memphis, and they don't watch WWF at the time, so I've been stealing your shit, and I'll be damned. They don't watch it. They think I'm a genius because they've never seen it before. We got this. So he goes, look at that. You know, and this is after he had an awesome match with Tito Santana for Saturday night's main event, and it was a pivotal moment in Kurt's career and I was sitting with the agents, and that was a great opportunity and also a great opportunity to learn because you got to see things like this. The agents popping, these stiff old bastards saying, look at that, popping for Kurt's work. And then one of them looked at me, and I think it was Tony Gree, and said, you see what he did right there? He just secured his spot as a top guy. And also the next three years of his life when it comes to the new contract he's going to sign. So anyway, Kurt is talking to me. And when he was talking to me, he goes, look at that. And this is after he worked the match. Like five minutes after working Tito, he's sweating, he's breathing. And he shows me the goosebumps on his arm and says, kid... I still love this business, and to be great, you got to always love this business. And I thought that was so cool because it fucking gave me goosebumps. So as he's going to just change singlets, uh, you know, we're by the gorilla position, and anybody that used to do enhancement work for WWE knows that even if there was nothing to be uh, wired up about, gorilla was wired up screaming, Fox, perfect, Fox, perfect. And that makes everybody's ass pucker. So as I'm getting ready to go down to the ring and Kurt would be right behind me for the big entrance, I go, wait a minute, Kurt, I forgot something. I forgot something. And he comes up to me all worried and worked up and nervous. And I told you all the emotions involved. And I go, am I giving the perfect plex or am I taking it? Fuck you, kid. You rib the river, <laughs> you know, and that was cool. It kind of put me on the map up there, and from that point on, every time I saw Kurt at WWE or anywhere else, big smiles, laughter, and hugs, you know. Then I worked with Rude, and I went up to Rude the next night, and I said, is there anything that you want to talk about? And he goes, no, nah, I know who the fuck you are. We'll do it out there. And we just went out there and did it, you know, but anyway... I consider myself, especially being a young guy at the time, very fortunate to have worked with both. And inadvertently, obviously, this is probably 30 years ago or more, you know, Kurt rubbed off on me, man, if he meant to or not. Hope you guys enjoyed the short.